Now here in Magic Link, we've gone ahead and set up a free account and created a new app. So under our new app, as you can see, I've hidden it, but we need this publishable API key. So if you didn't keep your screen open when you logged into Magic, that's okay. Just come on into the app and be sure that you have access to this publishable key. We're going to be using that in just a minute when we add the code portion into our Webflow account. So let's go back over to Webflow and take a look at how we're putting all of this in. Okay. Now that we have that key readily available for us, we're back in Webflow and we're going to first go to our project settings and add in some custom code. So this custom code was provided to us by Magic Link and is in the notes for this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is add in head code. So they've given us these two scripts here. And in the second script, you'll see this is where that uh, publishable key information that we just showed in the previous screen is where you will place it. So go ahead and hit pause, put in your publishable key here in between the uh, quotation marks, and then we're ready to move on to the next part. Once you have that in there, just be sure that you hit save changes. Now we're ready to move on to the footer code. So the footer code again was provided to us and is written below. So just go ahead and copy and paste that in here. Now, if you haven't set up your profile page and you've named something differently, you may need to make some changes here. So keep in mind that this is using the same uh, wording. So we just have the home profile and login pages. So that's what we've done here in the tutorial for this script to work. So if you're having issues and you might want to go back and look at your naming just to be sure that that all matches up. So go ahead and paste that entire script in there. And then the one below it, which allows users to log out. So we're allowing our users to log in and see things and log out and take us back to the page we've already directed. Just like we did before, go ahead and hit save changes. And then we'll add some additional information to some specific pages. Now that we're back in our designer, we want to take a look at a couple of specific pages to add some, some more information. So under our login page, we're going to hit the little gear icon and come down to the before the body tag. Copy and paste this script in here. Go ahead and hit save. And finally, our profile page. We want to hit the little gear icon and then come on down to the body tag here and copy and paste this script in here. Now go ahead and hit save. And that should be everything that we need in order for our magic link to work. So now you just need to be sure that you hit publish on your Webflow site. So come on over and hit publish to select the domains. And then we can take a look and see how this is working. Now you can see we take a look at the live site and we have our login screen here. So this will now allow us to put in a login and we have everything set up. Now, as you can see, once you follow the login and put in your email address, here is your paid information for the blog site. Hope you have fun building with this and that is how you install Magic Link on Webflow to gatekeep a blog site. Mm -hmm.